Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 20, part 2 of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we arrived in the southern tip of South America to help fund an expedition all the way to Antarctica on the RV Belgica. And in this episode, we're going to continue doing that, as we need to keep delivering supplies here to the port. Ursula needs the supplies of oil to basically get the ship back on its course to Antarctica. The RV Belgica has just arrived at the harbor of Ushuaia. As there is not much to do here, the crew would like to continue their journey after a short refueling stop. Make sure there is enough oil available in the harbor in Ushuaia. Maybe the whalers at the remote island of South Georgia can help you out. The sea can be rough there, so be careful. So basically, we need to deliver a load of oil to the ship for it to continue the exposition. But I believe, now that the ship is basically docked, we might have enough time to build this prison thing. Since I believe the last time, well, when we, on the last episode, time actually did stop when we were basically trying to get the ship fitted with, well, you know, clothing. All right. Actually, hmm. Could I maybe try basically? I cannot basically get through those tents, so I'll have to figure out another way around. To be honest, that climbing a steep grade is not what I want for my trains. Let's see if I'll be able to climb this grade. That looks promising. Let's see. Yep, that looks fine. Now with the track work between these two points complete, we can now get started on laying down some more track and starting to operate trains to earn some real money on this map. Place down a pair of these signals here, and a pair of these signals here. Darn, run low on money again. Well, at least our ships are making a profit. One signal for the branch line. Well, to the track heading towards the main, towards well, the yard. Let's see. I gotta also build a passing loop track here. Well, a double slip switch. Well, a double X switch, so my trains could at least enter platforms one and two. I also need one for the sidings. And add one here. Alright. That should basically do it for the track work for now. Oh, I forgot to basically add signals here. And here at the junction. Let's see. I want my trains to at least pick up meat. So, I'll have one train pick up meat here, one meat there. As my ship's carrying cotton from the Falkland Islands is doing pretty well. A little too 
low for bridge. There we go. Let's just use some stone bridges on this section. Build over, and then just reconnect to the main line. Need to have a road so my trains can pick up my pick up their loads. There we go. So I'll actually have one train picking up cotton and the other picking up meat. Well, this farm down here will just basically supply me. See. There we go. Hmm. All right. Too much slope. Hmm. All right. No basic, well, tracks through there. Ooh, that's going to be a little pricey. I might as well get another loan out. As long as I'm able to pay off my loans, I won't have to worry about anything else. Signals for the rule line. At those two. All right. Now to basically add a, a loop tra a Y track to allow my and freight trains to use the main line in either direction. And that results me I need to basically deliver in some supplies. Let's see. Hmm. Well, since there's only going to be one gold train coming in, might as well try to make it uh, use this smallish platform. See if I can able to make a small platform. Hmm. Too much curvature. Twenty-four. That does not look good. All right. So no signing for that. I also need to set a new signal down to replace the one that I deleted. And, oh, these signals are set to one way. That's not going to work very well. There we go. That should do it. Now we can get started. Oh. We'll, 
it will start at Santa Cruz, head through Puerto Arenas, make a stop here at Ushara, and then make another run back here. And this will be called Express Train. Hmm. I'll put in local train A. And local train B. Let's see. I also mentioned, forgot to mention, that I also added another type of engine into the game. This USA Longin Locomotives Pack. So we're gonna get... Let's see. Let's get the 10-wheeler and a couple of these passenger cars. $43.5 million. Ugh, jeez, this is gonna make me so much in debt. But I need those services to basically pay off my bills. I'll get it up to 110. Actually, no, 120 sounds more reasonable. And at the same time, I also want to get two local trains set up. Let's see. Hmm. Two hundred twenty five million. That seems very much perfect. Oh, I only got one. I needed to get two. Okay, how much is this? 25.6 million per vehicle. I'll just simply borrow more money from the bank. Uh. Whew. All right. I'll sign Express Train 1. Hopefully the game does not crash. Because one time it actually did when I was playing a free mode game. Alright. The train is going. And now I'll need to set up some freight trains. First of all, I'm going to set up one freight train to pick up a load. And deliver it into the yard. Freight train A. It'll just basically... Okay, let's see. Tracks... Track 1 will basically... Be... Yeah. Track 1 at the freight yard will basically be used for delivery of supplies, such as... Well... Oh? What's this? Well, I'll be. If I deliver meat and pelts, I can actually bring in gold. That makes it so much easier. Which, that ship is fully loaded to the brim. Now, let's see. I'll purchase a Shea. A couple of these gondola cars. Actually, five of these. And a caboose. 6. 6.6 million credits. Sign it to Freight Train A. I also gotta get a trucking system set up. 
Let's see. Right now, with that out of the way, I can now get started on wiring some trucks. Let's see. Hmm. All right, trucks will roll into town here. But I've set up another freight route. Only to be loaded with stone. And we'll be picking it up on platform one. I'll still have this quarry to connect to, so I'll have to set up another track. Let's see. 150 units. Let's see. Tunnel, no thanks. It may be in the way of the mainline trains, but since it'll be a signal to prevent an accident from occurring on the main line, might as well add that signal. get a Baldwin class 56 and a couple of these cars. I'll get a caboose. 6.19 million. Me, 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 me. This is gonna be so expensive. But if it makes me money, I'm up for it. Okay, let's see. I'll need a truck station somewhere in town. Where did I last put that one? Ah, here we are. Okay. Put it on there. And I'll need another truck to pick up a load of gold and bring it in. Let's see. Where is the gold most, want most wanted in? Here. Green. I have a full load of 10 minutes, and I'll purchase a couple of, uh, let's see, <clears throat> why do I always keep forgetting to repaint, to rename it? I believe this is truck route D. All right. Now, with my shave fully realizing the route, it will set off for the gold mine to pick up its first load. And the only consumer is basically either the town of Puerto Guerreres or the military base. Speaking of which, the oil ship is still out at sea right now, so it shouldn't be too much longer until it comes back. Let's see, where is that ship? Ah, there it is. Hasn't 
been able to pick up the full load yet, but there's plenty of oil waiting to be picked up. But I want to at least get passengers traveling on the line again. So I'm going to set up a bus route to connect these two towns together. And make sure that everyone is able to get to the station. Bus service A. And the other one here. Bus service B. Oh, not 11. No, 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 no. Bus service B. No passengers so far, but we'll start getting some eventually. But now, I want to at least start delivering some supplies into the local towns on the map. First of all, I need to get started on delivering fish in. Destruction not possible. There we go. Not a big station, but at least it will serve for now. I can just expand it out just a tiny bit. So multiple vehicles can use the station at the same time. fish on it to be. Fish is located within the town nearby. Let's see. Will I be able to bring in that supply of fish directly by rail? Alright. Guess I'll have to put it onto that branch. Let's see. Right. Too much curvature. Ah, great. Let's see. Maybe I might be able to fix this by room. Placing a section of this track instead of with a bridge a tunnel with some just regular track. Doesn't look great, but if it allows me to basically curve my track around and reconnect it to the main. Let's see. strategy, no tunnels on this section. Let's see. Full load. Turn it blue. And take it to here. And this will be loaded on track 3. This will be Freight Train C. And the locomotive in charge will be this mobile, and several of these wooden refrigeration cars. Thirteen point five million. Let's see. 
Now I just gotta connect to this fishing port. Alright, then we'll set up another truck route. It'll just have a full load and then just drop off whatever it has in its commodity base. Truck route E. Alright. And five of these so we could carry about 60 units of fish each. Alright, let me see. Well, I want to get that prison built, so I'm going to actually stop the ship and then just speed everything up. Because I want to see on how well my operations are doing. Well... At least gold is being mined, albeit rather slowly. Let me see. There's passengers already on board one of my local trains. And Freight Train C is heading off to basically fix and fill up its load. I'm also going to basically make the maintenance cost on one of on both my express train and my local trains at a high rate, so that the vehicle, so the passenger cars don't look so dingy. Five point forty two K thousand credits. With a lot of people wanting to travel in by rail, this is gonna basically be very much worth it. Speaking of which, where do people want the Oh right. Why would I want to deliver supplies if there's basically no need for it left? So that truck route was basically temporary, so to speak. I better sell this stuff off. Better settle them off and... Oh. Uh, vehicle confrontation. Okay, so track one is locked. Then we'll just use track two. 43.5 thousand credits. Pretty good amount of money. Let's see. Stone is busy is still being mined right now. That's good. Let's see. Gold is waning at the mine. And what about my express? There's 27 people already on board. This train is waiting for the arrival of fresh fish from the coast take it down to the city of Santa Cruz. I believe with these trains we'll start be making a pretty decent profit. Hmm. Oh, I should have had stated for slow the stone only. Did I just set it for stone only? I meant to say for gold. There we go. Much better. Four thousand credits. That is actually really good. Now let's see. I still gotta get some food and meat delivered into town. Let's see. Truck route F. Green, follow 10 minutes. 
pick up loads of meat and drop them off at the Torreira's town. Yeesh. I am literally gonna go bankrupt. And I also gotta get myself a meat tree as well. So let's see. Full load, 10 minutes. Freight train D. Yep, freight train D. Painted blue, and I'll need some cars to carry the meat. basically at about 200 units of meat on board at a caboose 13.5 million credits buy it and put on freight train D so once the meat starts basically being loaded up I could then deliver it into town Speaking of which, I better just primarily make it meat. No cotton. Let's see. Well, gold is being brought in. There's plenty of stone to make building materials. I'll need to set up another route to deliver the supplies to the station so I can at least be able to get the building material sent out. Truck Route G. Let's see. I'll purchase about 10 of these. 652,000. basically got a train set up to make deliver that load. Let's see. Freight train E. And I'll need a truck route to bring in the materials down there to Construction site. Okay, let's see. Truck route H. Change it green, and then just basically get another set of vehicles to pick up the loads. Alright, now I just need another freight train to pick up that load. I'll get a mogul and a couple of these small flat cars. Six point eighty eight million. Freight train E. And I think that will basically do this for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas TV in this brief video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!